What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup from the drugstore. I went to the drugstore the other day. I went to Walgreens and CVS and I saw so much new stuff. I also went to Target too. I was all over and there's so many new exciting things coming out at the drugstore. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I figured that we would test it all out today, see what's good and see what's bad. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos in the comments. I can definitely do more drugstore dedicated videos for you guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and also click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Let's dig it. Okay, so this product is super intriguing to me. This is from e.l.f. and this is a pore refining primer mask. So it's like a sheet mask, but it's a primer. Um, so it says a sheet mask, a sheet mask with priming benefits to minimize the appearance of pores, brighten skin, prepping for a flawless makeup application. So just says to put the mask on dry skin, leave for five minutes and then remove and then you can apply your makeup. So we're gonna try. I'm not sure how I feel about like a sheet mask before I do my makeup. I normally do that like once I've like cleansed my skin for the night, like I'm not putting anything else on it. But um, we're gonna give it a try. All right, it's definitely very, very liquidy inside already. I mean, most times most time sheet masks are. It just looks Oh, it has a nice scent to it. I like the scent. It's definitely like a strong scent though. So if you don't like scented products, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> Sheet masks never really fit my face well. <laughs> I always kind of look crazy, but uh, we're gonna do our best to get this on. Ooh, it feels really cooling. See, like it's so much bigger than my face. I feel like everyone has that problem though. Oh my God, this is like dripping. <laughs> Oh Lord, oh my God, but it feels really, really nice. Actually on my skin, like very, very cooling. It is kind of hot in my beauty room and it's very, very like there's stuff all over my hand. So there's a lot of like liquid on this sheet mask. I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and I'll report back. <laughs> All right, so it has been five minutes. I'm reading on the back here. It does say to actually um, like remove it and then to wash your face. So I'm gonna take the mask off now and then I will rinse my face and then we will apply makeup. My face definitely looks very dewy because it still has like the liquid all over it. Yeah, so there's like no way that you could apply makeup on top of this. Literally, it's like all over my face still. So definitely gonna go rinse my face and then um, we'll go from there. All right, I am back and honestly, I have like mixed thoughts on the primer mask. My skin feels really, really nice and my pores actually do look like less enlarged on my face which is great. I just kind of think like doing a mask before you do your makeup is kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you guys. I just kind of want something quick and easy when I'm sitting down to actually do my makeup for my primer. So for me, I'm just not crazy about the whole mask concept before doing your makeup. But if you want to try it, I think the mask was actually pretty good and it's e.l.f. so it's super affordable and it really did make my skin feel very nice. I just kind of thought it was a pain in the butt to actually do it. So the foundation that we're gonna be trying today is the Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation. So I actually didn't even know that this came out and then I saw it and I was I was like, hmm. It's supposed to be a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear and it says no caking or fading and it should be lightweight and blend seamlessly. So we shall see. I got shade 220 Natural Beige and it does say that it is a matte foundation. So we're not getting any dewiness with this. Hopefully this matches okay. Obviously my face is lighter than my neck is. Oh, so it's definitely like a moussey texture. Um, it's not a liquid. I kind of assumed that because of the squeezy tube. It reminds me of the um, the Dream Matte Mousse foundation that comes in like the jar as far as texture goes. Looks like the color should be okay. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. I don't really know how much to use, so hopefully this works. This foundation seems pretty cool toned, um, which is okay. We should be able to make it work. It is providing a nice coverage which is good, but I typically am not crazy about mousse consistency foundations, but there are a few that I like, like the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay, that's a mousse foundation, and I do like that one. I would say this one is similar um, in consistency to that, but a lot of times mousse foundations can be a bit drying, and my skin is already dry, so I don't need that. It's blending out super easily, and like I said, it is giving a really nice coverage to my skin, so I don't have any issues with that. And it surprisingly does actually feel lightweight, because at first, like a lot of times, mousse foundations can be thicker on the skin, but this one actually really doesn't feel thick on my skin, which is nice, although it does feel a tad bit drying. I'm just not sure if you have super dry skin that you'll love this. I am gonna go in with a little bit more. It gave a good coverage, but I just want just a little more. 
but it does say that this foundation is supposed to last 24 hours which i'm certainly not going to wear it for 24 hours but if you guys check the description box i will put in how it wore throughout the day if you guys are interested in that all right, so we will see how this settles on my face. I feel like it's still very like tacky on my skin, like it hasn't settled down yet. Um, so we'll see like once it dries kind of what it sets to. But right now it actually doesn't even look super matte, even though it feels a little drying on my skin. So that's kind of interesting. For foundation, I have these guys. These are the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer from Catrice Cosmetics. You guys can get Catrice at Ulta um, in like the drugstore, more affordable side. So I have two shades right here. I have Porcelain and Light Beige. Since this foundation is a little lighter than my neck anyways, I'm gonna use the lighter um, concealer in the shade Porcelain. All right, so it has a nice doe foot applicator. Ooh, it seems very creamy like it feels really nice on the under eyes but sometimes that can mean creasing Ooh, it has like a rosy kind of scent to it which i feel like is weird because concealers normally aren't scented like if there's one makeup product that i feel like isn't scented it's concealers um but i don't mind it because like scents don't normally bother me but i know they do bother some people so just something to note let's go ahead and blend that out and see how it does Blending out pretty decently. So let's see about on the under eyes how it blends. Hmm, this is actually really nice. I'm surprised. I didn't really know. Sometimes I can like really be picky with concealers. I think this is actually pretty nice. It definitely gives a really nice coverage to the skin and definitely blends out, you know, really easily and stuff. And it doesn't feel drying like to my under eyes upon application. I'll let you guys know as like the tutorial goes on, but right now feels fine i think for an affordable concealer it's really really nice okay so the foundation still feels a little tacky which is weird because it's been on my face for like at least five minutes now and it still hasn't kind of like set so i don't know if it's ever gonna set because that's kind of a long time um so i am just gonna go over it with a powder so i can set it and move on so i'm just gonna go in with the bare minerals bare pro powder i use this all the time um i don't have a new one to test out so i'm just gonna use this to set the foundation down on my face now that i had to set the foundation like with a powder to really make the foundation set um it definitely does feel pretty dry on my skin so for me i probably will not use this again it definitely feels drying again if you have oily skin you may really like this but i think if you have dry skin i don't know if this is the best option all right the next product i am so excited about because i've seen so much hype about this this is new from maybelline and this is their tattoo studio brow tint pen i think it was nikki tutorials who i saw say this was like the next best brow product. So i was like okay i have to try it um i got it in the shade soft brown so uh let's crack it open and see okay so this is what the applicator looks like i hope you guys can see there's like three little strips so you can basically draw like little brow hairs on if you guys can see me like drawing the brow hairs on my hand it's like a very natural sort of thing um i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna like this but i don't know everyone was raving about it so i hope i do i'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a bit better oh wow this is actually pretty cool like it actually works really well Like it gives a very like natural kind of look for your brows. I feel like this would be amazing to use just in the front of your brows. Like if you used a regular pencil on kind of like your tail and then you use this in the front of your brows to really get that natural looking like real hair look to your brows. But it actually doesn't even do a bad job like on the rest of my brow. But I feel like it definitely does work best in the areas that you actually have brow hair. So if you're a little sparse in some areas, you might need to go in with a pencil but I actually don't mind it. It's definitely interesting. It's like a different concept to kind of get used to, but I think it's pretty cool. All right, so brows are done. We're gonna move on to the eyes. I wanna check out this new palette from CoverGirl. This is their True Naked Chocoholic palette. I really like their new peach palette, so I decided to check out the chocolate one as well. I found this at Walmart. They are a Walmart exclusive. So we are gonna use this on the eyes today. And this palette, does smell like chocolate it is scented they have a bronzer too which i've used before which i like which is scented as well it kind of reminds me of you know those packets of um like hot cocoa that you can mix with like water or milk to like make the instant hot cocoa that's what the smell reminds me of it's like a cocoa smell anyways i'm gonna go in with this shade right here first in the crease there is no mirror in this palette so i'm just gonna use the mirror from my powder so i can see 
what I am doing. I'm just gonna blend that into the crease. Seems to be blending out super easily. It's not like patchy or anything, which is a big plus. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade, all right. Then I'm gonna go with this shade right here. This shade is not completely matte. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but not like a ton. So I'm still gonna put it in the crease. This is blending out really easily as well. I feel like that is always the hurdle with the drugstore shades is finding ones that actually blend out like pretty well and also um, like pigment. I feel like in the past, it was so hard to find palettes from the drugstore that were pigmented, but I think all the brands at the drugstore recently have really, really stepped their game up as far as um, like the quality of the products go. They've also stepped up the prices, but um, you know, I guess it doesn't matter to pay a little bit more um, for better quality products, at least in my opinion. The closer I have this thing to my face and I'm like looking at this foundation, I'm like, dang, my face is matte. All over the lid, I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade right in the middle. I'm gonna spritz my brush with some Fix Plus just so we can adhere it to the eye because normally those type of shades would probably be best with a finger, but I can't use my finger because my nails are too long. So we are gonna just apply some Fix Plus. Ooh yeah, this looks like a pretty like chunky shadow, which for glitter isn't a bad thing. Um, but I definitely would suggest some Fix Plus and we may get some fallout. Oh my God, this is really pretty. Holy crap. CoverGirl coming through. Wow. This is such a pretty shade. And honestly, we didn't even get that much fallout. Like I definitely thought we were gonna have a lot of fallout with this shade, but we really didn't. So I think that Fix Plus really helped too adhere like the shadow to the eye or if you just want to use your finger it would definitely um, help but we really have like very minimal fallout at all i haven't done a dark eye like this in a long time like normally i do much lighter kind of eyes like i don't normally do this dark kind of smoky color but i like this and then i'm going to go in with a bit of this deepest shade just in the outer corner this is like a really really dark brown shade so i'm just gonna pop this in there just to deepen it up a smidge i'm just gonna bring that deeper shade down on my lower lash line as well okay so i really want to use one of these like glitter eyeshadows from pixie these are new these are their liquid fairy lights but like none of these shades really go with the eye look that i did um because i feel like the white one would be too light let me swatch it to put over yeah like that would just look probably kind of weird this guy might be our closest bet to like something that would match Ooh, yeah okay that one looks pretty good so this is in the shade bare brilliance so these are supposed to be like a more affordable version of like the stila eye glitters so let's see Ooh, looks pretty Especially because the shadow underneath is already glittery too. So this just really like amps it up. And this shade actually goes really nicely. I feel like it looks really pretty, but the thing to me that really makes the Stila eye glitter stick out so much is that they dry so quickly. So you don't have to worry about them transferring and they don't crease. So that's just what I want to see like with these. Because as far as application goes, I think they're pretty good. Like they look really pretty we'll see how long it takes to dry and stuff and if they transfer. All right, so this has not transferred and I feel like it still looks really, really nice and it feels like dried on my eyes now. So I am impressed. Those are really, really nice. I'm not gonna do any top liner just because we have so much going on on the eyes right now and because I'm testing out a new mascara. So I feel like I can best see if I don't do liquid liner on the top. I'm gonna tight line real quick. This is just from L'Oreal, this isn't new. And then we will test out the new mascara. All right, for mascara, we're gonna test out this new one. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Lash Renegade Multidimensional Mascara. I actually really like the packaging on this. It's super cute. Let's see what the wand looks like. Ooh, okay, so we have like a little circle on the end and then like a regular wand for the rest. So let's see how this works. Just gonna coat my lashes. It's actually really nice. It feels like a stickier formula, which can be good for really like defining lashes. 
So that is with one coat. They actually look really nice. Like I'm actually really surprised. Not sure how I feel about using this on my lower lash line though. We'll see. Like with the ball and stuff, it may be a little difficult, but. All right, so that is two coats of this mascara on my upper lashes. I'm very impressed. Let's see how it does on my bottom. I'm gonna just kind of like use the ball and kind of try and run it. I definitely prefer like a smaller little wand um, to use on my lower lash line. But this definitely isn't bad. All right, so eyes are done. We're gonna go finish up the face. I'm honestly really liking how my eyes look today. Like everything works really, really well, which was awesome. For blush, I'm gonna try this one from Pop Beauty. This is the, it says it's an illuminating powder, but like to me, this looks like a blush. Like I would not use a highlight that was that color. So we're gonna try it out as a blush because I have a different highlight that I wanna try. And I personally don't mind shimmery blushes like at all. So this is what it looks like. The shade is Royal Rose. Oh yeah, see it's pretty. I like this. Like I could see how you could use this as a highlight, but I actually like it as a blush. Like it just adds a little like rosy sheen to your cheeks. Up next for highlight, I am so excited to try this out. This is new from L'Oreal, and I honestly haven't heard that much about it, which I'm surprised about, but this is their Crushed Foil Metallic Highlighter. I have it in the shade Rose Quartz. So we are gonna dig into this and see if it is good. This is what it looks like. We'll do a little swatchy. Ooh, okay. It looks beautiful in the swatch. So let's see how it looks on the skin. Ooh, wow. That is really, really pretty. It's definitely more of like a rose gold than like a straight gold. Like it's like a mix of gold and pink, but it is beautiful. Wow. I think I still like the Maybelline, um, their one better, I forgot what it's called. The, mas the Master Chrome, the Maybelline Master Chrome, but actually I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> wow. This is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. You know what, I wanna put a little bit of this um, on my brow bone. Let me do my nose first. I'm gonna just pop that on my brow bone as well. All right, this is bomb. Oh my God, we have tried so many good products today. Like this makes me so happy because I love finding like affordable makeup that is so good because nobody wants to spend 10 tons of money on makeup. You know what I mean? Like everybody loves to go to Sephora, but I love being able to find affordable options that are just as amazing as the stuff that you can find in Sephora. So. I'm super happy about this. For our lips today, I'm gonna to try out this. This I've actually never tried anything from this brand before. This is from Koki Professional. This is sold at Walmart, so it's super affordable. Um, and this is their Kissable Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serenity. So yeah, this is the first time I'm ever trying anything from their brand at all. So let's go ahead. The shade is nice. It's like a whipped kind of formula, I would say, for the um, liquid lipstick. It does feel a little drying upon application, but let's see once it sets. Cause you know how some matte lipsticks, like when they apply, they're not matte and then they set, this one is like applying straight matte. Like it's really not liquidy. This actually, like if it doesn't get any more drier than this, it would actually be fine. Like it feels comfortable on my lips, I was just kind of surprised at first just because I am so used to kind of using liquid lipsticks that are a little bit more liquidy when you first apply them and this definitely isn't because it's like moussey, but if it stays like this, it's fine. So I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and um, see. All right, so it's been like seven minutes right now and it still feels completely fine on my lips. So it's actually kind of nice. It doesn't ever dry down to like a super, super, super matte, but it visually looks matte but it still feels comfortable on the lips. So I actually really like this. And then last but not least, also from the L'Oreal kind of crushed foil collection, I wanted to try this lip gloss. So this is the metallic lip gloss in the shade Mirrored. You guys know I love metallic lippies. So let's see. Ooh. That's pretty. It's like literally gold glitter on the lips but it's not like overly metallic either, which I actually kind of like. And the actual like lip gloss formula feels really nice. Like it's very like creamy. All right, you guys, so that is everything. I'm super pleased with how this look turned out. I feel like we tested a bunch of really great things today. The only thing that really didn't work for me that I wouldn't recommend is the foundation. I just wasn't crazy about it with my dry skin and I wasn't crazy about the primer mask either. But aside from that, I thought everything else was really, really good. So definitely let me know what you guys think down below. Are you gonna pick any of these products up or are you gonna skip on them? I would love to hear. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.